morning guys all right so we were just staying at a pretty nice campsite just outside of town the town of helena montana uh, the campsite is, uh, is called white sands park and it's next to a lake and it was very nice but uh we got up early this morning packed up everything quickly now we're going back to elena we're gonna hit the trail and try to start uh, gaining some miles that we couldn't do in the last couple of days so see you guys on the trail what's going on guys we are in helena and we're having breakfast in this amazing place i just wanted to show you guys this beautiful breakfast look at this look at those eggs with the avocados and the pancakes and oscar's eggs benedicts man this looks delicious we are having a fist but after this man we're hitting the trail it's early enough and hopefully we'll get some good miles done today so let's go guys Guys, if you ever pass through Helena, Montana, Steve's Cafe, man, they make some amazing breakfast. Probably one of the best that I've had on this trip so far. So, beautiful day. Let's get on our way. Helena, Montana, guys. I tell you, it's a beautiful, beautiful city. These people are super nice, super friendly. And overall, I really enjoy my stay here and hope um, I get a chance to come back. And to have been able to find a motorcycle shop that were willing to fix the bike in such a pinch. That doesn't happen everywhere and that doesn't happen all the time. And we found it here in Montana with the fellows at Point Motorcycle. And they were super awesome. Anyway, so time to get back on the trail man leaving Helena man and looking at these old ruins wow pretty cool stuff very cool stuff oh off-road yes all right guys we are on the off-road it's a beautiful day and our goal today I was looking at the tracks on the phone and the GPS and it looks like we are around between 180 and 200 miles away from the border with Idaho we're gonna try to you know make it to Idaho or at least try to get as close as possible to Idaho but again it all depends I don't know the trail may be a very simple easy fast trail like this you know it's just very smooth gravel road or it could be more technical trail we don't know that the goal is to push as far as possible without pushing ourselves to limits where it's dangerous so why increase your chances of having something else and delaying the trip even more so oh nice man we've been climbing up this mountain wow what a cool little trail it's really really nice and the day just amazing look at that blue skies this is not artificial blue it's not enhanced on the computer i promise you that thing is that blue i haven't seen deep blue skies like that in a long time oh man come on just stop let me pass thank you sir I don't want to have to be behind you, man, eating all your dust. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful day for riding. Beautiful trail. Perfect temperature. I don't even know what temperature it is, man, but it's not hot. It's not cold. It's nice and cool. It's very, very dry, though. Very dry. I mean, you have to stay hydrating constantly. My lips are all cracked up. That's the only bad thing. Definitely not a fast trail. <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna be doing the 200 miles that I had expected if the trail is like this the entire time. I'm not complaining because I'm actually loving every second of this. I love it. The dirt is a little bit loose, not terrible, but a little bit loose. Totally doable, easy on these bikes. As I said, we're taking it extra easy. We don't wanna punish the bikes. We still have a long way ahead of us. Many, many, many hundreds of miles on dirt. And we know Colorado is challenging. We need our bikes to be in sound conditions. Oh, I'm loving this, man. Woohoo! Nice potholes. Right through the pothole. Right through the pothole. 
All right, guys, it's getting quite technical. Quite, quite technical. Colorado style technical. Very, very technical in some sections. Just past a little descent earlier that was so inclined, so many rocks and cracks that yeah, I couldn't turn the camera on to film it. Man, I was like, are we in Colorado already? This is the thing. I don't subscribe to specific brand model or anything, okay? Just because I ride a, a GS uh, doesn't mean that this is the only bike I think is, is the best bike. Is, you know, I'm not I'm not a diehard for brands, when, and that is for anything, whether it's cars, uh, bicycles, motorcycles, clothes, you know, whatever. I'm not a diehard for brands. So why did I choose a BMW R1200GS to do a trip like this? Well, first of all, it's what I have. You know, I haven't really ridden that many bikes. I would love to try KTMs. I would love to try the Honda Africa Twin. I would love to try so many, you know, the Yamaha Super Tenere. I'd love to try them all. And I know I'm gonna like them all. You know, I know that for a fact. And I think they all have uh, their pros and cons. On this one, since I've ridden it so much in, you know, in some really technical trails, I know what their pros and cons are. It's a very capable bike for even super technical off-road. You just have to know what you're doing. It takes a little practice. I mean, I wouldn't suggest somebody who's never ridden off-road to grab a GS, load it up, and just go on, a, on an adventure like this on your first off-road. You know, I would recommend a lighter bike. Uh, once you learn the basics, then you can, you know, if you really want to do the GS, go for it, you know. Uh, the GS, to me, what is so good for is because I live in Florida, and to get out of Florida, you know, to go anywhere, whether it's the Carolinas, out west, Colorado, Utah, if I want to ride to those places, this bike is great. It's not a Harley, it's not a Honda a Goldwing, but it's still a great bike to ride long distance. The thing about this bike is designed to be good at both the pavement, the highways, and the off-road. But it cannot be the best at everything. It's impossible. You cannot have a bike that's the best at everything. So I think that uh, the compromise that they did with this bike as far as making it a great bike for highway as well as off-road is what makes this bike so special. Okay, guys, hold on a second. I'm going to have to concentrate on this because this is getting rough right here. I'm going to have to go down with my feet. This is very inclined, it's cracks on both sides, it's, it's, it's in an angle, it's rocks everywhere. Let me go down, Oscar already went down, he's ahead of me. But I wanna, I wanna see the trail first. Gonna figure out how, what's the best way to get down. I mean, I guess you can go here, but it's very inclined, the bike is gonna wanna go down into the crack. Okay, you see, talking about very challenging sections, this is the most challenging section of the trip so far. This will be tough in just about any bike. All right, Scarlett, we have our first uh, challenge of the trip. Stupid fall. Stupid fall. Right. Can you help me real quick? Get, get it back up. Okay. It's just. Okay. 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 Woo! That's at least six to eight percent. Yeah, actually probably even more than six or eight percent. I mean, that thing is very inclined. It's got the it's angle on, on this side, angle on the other side, rocks, two cracks in the middle. And I was wearing my sunshades and I didn't see that rock when I was slowing down and stupid fall, it's nothing to it, you know. Back is all right, I'm fine. As I said, our goal of 200 miles today, if it continues like this, ain't happening. <laughs> It's starting to get fun, man. Yeah, I mean, the funny thing is I'm actually talking to, to the audience about, you know, the, how capable the GS, you know, yeah. but it's not the best at off-road, it's not the best at highways, but it's, it's a, it, they, yeah. made, they made a really good compromise on the bike, to, you know, that it's very capable on doing, you know, off-road and, uh, and, and highway. And uh, you can actually handle some very, very technical off-roading. And as I'm saying that, man, all of a sudden it started getting it's technical. I'm like, really okay, technical, this yeah. is, 
<laughs> well, this has been so far the, the most technical. Ah, yes. The, yeah. the problem is the shadows. Yeah, the, the shadows trees, don't help either, they're man. They're not helping because they, they, they camouflage the holes. Yeah. Actually, I, the, the suspension is proven because I fell in this deep hole mm -hmm. and the bike just said boom, boom, like yep. that. And I didn't see it. The shadow of the tree was yeah. totally on top of it. So the bike is working great. And well, yeah. let's ride, man. All right, guys, let's hope that that was it as far as very challenging sections. But again, that's the reason why I wouldn't suggest somebody who's never ridden off-road to get into a big bike all of a sudden and try to do something like this because it's too much, man. I never claim to be an expert. You guys heard me say this a million times, but I already have enough miles under my belt that I feel comfortable doing stuff like this. And even with that, I still drop the bike. And, I, and every time it happens, I put it on the video because as I said, I'm not trying to pretend or to show that I am somebody who I'm not. Uh, I know there is guys that can ride this bike on a wheelie on that trail. I don't know about that, but you know, but what I mean by that is that, you know, there is people that are a lot more capable as far as riding off road on a big heavy bike. But the majority of people that want to jump into this don't really have the experience. And that should not be a reason not to do it. My suggestion is try to start with a smaller bike, a more manageable bike. Now, if you decide to start with a big bike, well, you know, it's fine. Just try not to go on your own on the first trip. If you're on your own, let's hope that you are carrying a spot or some kind of uh, emergency uh, tracking device that you can call for help, man, which is another thing that I will recommend everybody carries. You see, now it's challenging, but it's going up, which is a lot easier. I could not have picked up a better environment to have this conversation. <laughs> Telling you, look at this stuff, man. Definitely the most challenging trail so far on this trip. Definitely. Man, this thing doesn't stop, brother. This thing is, it is insanely technical. I don't think many passes in Colorado were this technical. That's how tough it is. That's how tough it is. How beautiful guys, how beautiful, incredible. Woo, guys, taking a break. Got winded on that one. Oh, yeah. We've been riding that really tough section for about 45 minutes, if not more. Oh, we got to this beautiful meadows, beautiful vistas, man, and taking a chill for a couple minutes. Breathing the very pure air around here, man. This is absolutely gorgeous. There isn't a sound, but look at this view, guys. Look at this gorgeous view. Isn't that amazing? That's what they call it, the big sky state. Now we know why. Yep, sky is, is magnificent. All right, let's go. So much beauty, man, so much beauty. The big sky state, now we know why it's called that. It really humbles you down, man. Wow. Now guys, look at this beautiful cabin in the middle of this mountain. Oh, that is pretty cool. Imagine spending some time here, in the, especially in the winter time. This thing's gotta be half buried in snow in the winter time. Pretty cool place, man. Pretty cool cabins. There's nobody here. Oh, that's, hold on a second. That's a mine right there. Probably an old copper mine. Somebody's preserving the house for maybe just hunting or something. Very, very nice. Oh, funny thing. 39 miles that's all we've done and it's one o'clock 39 miles man this trail just keeps getting more and more beautiful i mean it's so changing look now we're following a little river man it's ah uh, unreal 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 really is a beautiful state
right guys, a little bit of a bad news, lost the drone. Hey amigos, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure to share this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching and right on amigos.